wanasema majuto ni mjukuu huja baadaye na basi ikawa hivyo kwa wachezaji wa raga Frank Wanyama na Alex Olaba wa klabu ya Kenya Harley Queens ambao wamepewa hukumu ya miaka mitano gerezani kwa kosa la ubakaji Misi wiki jana walipatikana na hatia ya kumnajisi mwanamuziki Chipukizi katika makazi yao mtaani Sifa kule High Rise. Na leo hakimu wa mahakama ya milimani Matamutuku akitoa hukumu hiyo amesema Olaba na wanyama walishiriki unajisi kwa pamoja. And all considered I was sentenced a first accused person on the first count of gang rape to serve 15 years imprisonment similarly the second accused person on the count of gang rape that second count is equally sentenced to serve 15 years imprisonment Awali wakili wa wawili hao aliomba mahakama kuwafunga kifungo cha nje lakini maombi hayo pia koti ikayatupilia mbali Indeed as submitted by counsel for the state the complainant in this case was traumatized and will live with this harrowing experience for the rest of her life hence a deterrent sentence is necessary Mwanamuziki huyo ambaye aliripoti kisa hicho siku moja baadaye kuwa alinajisiwa na wawili hao walipotoka kujivinjari katika mtaa wa Kilimani na kuandamana nao hadi kwa wawili hao kule sifa matukio ambayo yalipelekea mwathiriwa kutangaza kilichojiri usiku mzima katika mitandao ya kijamii Istoshe kulingana na koti mwanamuziki huyo alinajisiwa na baadaye akapatikana ni mjamzito kutokana na tendo hilo la unajisi we are appealing hoping for a lesser sentence we are appealing hoping for um, the boys to be acquitted Wanyama alikuwa na umri wa miaka miwili na Olaba akiwa na miaka mitatu. huku mwanamuziki huyo akiwa na miaka minne. wakati wa tukio mwaka jana. Kwa sasa Olaba na Wanyama wana hadi siku 14 kukata rufaa au kuendelea kutumikia kifungu cha miaka mitano gerezani. Lenox Sangre, Runinga ya K24 katika mahakama ya milimani Nairobi.